Welcome aboard to Ironside Sheets. Today we're going to be discussing Lone Wolf by Catherine Lasky. A wonderful piece of work depicting the early life of a wolf that has to face hardship. Lone Wolf follows Fowlan and is returned to the pack. The synopsis on my copy of the book is incorrect, saying Fowlan has a, quote, twisted paw, when he really has a splayed or widened paw. Despite the false info in the synopsis, I love Catherine Lasky's work. You have me to correct it anyway. Look up splayed paw and you are likely to see results on foul land alongside proper results. Minor spoilers ahead, you have been warned. He is seen as cursed and thusly kicked out of the clan as a puppy who is too young to see or hear. He is left on a piece of ice on a frozen river and is getting ready to, that is getting ready to break as the weather turns. He might also be scooped up by an owl. Malformed wolf pups are fair game despite the owl wolf alliance. The ice breaks and Fowlan clings for dear life. Then he does the thinkable. Another false piece from the synopsis says he does the quote unthinkable and survives. I don't recall a children's book that kills off its main character before he does anything. Shocker, I know. As he clings on for dear life, he pulls off some cartoonish slapstick and hits an object that stops him dead in his tracks. A bear's leg in the river. The bear is slightly tempted to brush off the debris clinging to her leg, but decides against it and pulls her leg out of the river to find that the still, named un the still unnamed puppy is attached to her. The two quickly bond, and the bear names her new pup Fowlan, meaning river gift. Fowlan grows up with the bear through his first year. The book then takes a sad turn that I won't get into detail about yet. The book depicts Fowlan's difficulty with being different from his new bear mother and learning the tactics of bears while having the instincts of a wolf. This book takes on the idea of nature versus nurture uh, and comes to the conclusion that, whoops, not this book, it comes to the conclusion that it takes both to make a creature who and what it is. This book, and if I'm not mistaken, this series, is an English reading and or writing teacher's wet dream. These books are rife with symbolism. After all, this is an offshoot co continuation of the Guardians of Gohul series. There is an already an established world that you cannot fully know without reading the GGH series. Good luck with that one. While they are short books, there are 15 in the main series and at least three others to add to the overall lore. However, you can more than understand the Wolves of the Beyond and their world just by reading the Wolves of the Beyond series. While I read these books, while I read these books and enjoyed them when I was fairly young, say 10, I was more than able to enjoy them as an adult. There is a lot of information packed into these books, but the writing is simple enough to allow children to pick up what's going on. There is enough of a world established to catch and hold teenagers and adults' attention as well. Should you be struggling to get your child to read, this is this would be one of the books I recommend to get them started. Mind you, this one. Once you get out of this book, it the series becomes very dark very quickly. Catherine Lasky is very good at that. That is my disclaimer and why these books are not necessarily for children rather than teenagers. The reading or the lexile level, I should say, is low, but that does not mean that the content is for children. For instance, Catherine Lasky's The um, Guardians of Gohul, the first book, The Capture, has a lot in it that adults would find intriguing, such as murder, attempted murder. It um, has cults, brainwashing. The Wolves of the Beyond series follows the same path, people. So do pay attention to the books you buy for your children. And if you're a teenager, say 13 or older, you can handle what's in these books pretty well. But again, 13 or older. Like I said, these books aren't necessarily for children, even though the Lexile level is low. Now, now that I've digressed, back to the review. <laughs> that one um, is a good character. Despite being so young and being so inexperienced, he gains access to wealth of, uh, wealth of information through his life with Thunderheart. He is courageous, strong, strong-willed, and tough. That is ingrained in him and made to flourish by Thunderheart, alongside his independence and pride. 
Thunderheart is, uh, is a caring mother who refuses to let her last cub slash pup be walked all over. Despite knowing little about wolves, she does her best to provide as much sustenance to Fowlin as he needs to not only survive, but to fatten up as a bear would for the harsh winter. She worries about her lack of knowledge about wolves and by extension her possible ineptitude at raising Fowlin. Parents, you might be able to relate to that. I'm not saying you're inept, but saying that you, you might feel that at some point. Like I said, this book can be read by adults at Raising Fowlin. However, she does not allow that to keep her down as she turns his weaknesses into strengths and his strengths into forces to be reckoned with. Shibon is an interesting character with an interesting background. Though she is not a major part of the story and so is not given too much opportunity to stand out, although with what little page time she gets, she follows a redemption arc. Lasky is a good writer. The Sark is funny and a nice addition to the superstitious world of wolves. Logic tends to be an owl and, more specifically, Foolian trait. Despite being surrounded by superstitious old codgers and their followers, she takes on the, un the unknown in what are as close to science experiments as she can get. Gwyneth is a good and almost necessary addition to the cast. She knows enough about the ways of wolves to instruct Fowlan without him needing to interact with wolves directly. It is custom that uh, returning cursed wolves be okay it is custom that returning cursed wolves be returned to the right pack but that doesn't necessarily mean they will be treated well before they make their intentions clear Gwyneth helps Fowlan on his way do not underestimate where this series will take you you will be surprised to get through this review I listen to I have the power by all good things on loop no collaboration, no sponsorship, I just like the song. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like, share if you think someone else will like it, and subscribe for more content. Now, you can also go to my website for more content. I have more book reviews there, any published books that I have, and any other major project that I'm working on. As of right now, I don't, but you can always expect something new will pop up eventually. And my Instagram is uh, at ironside.sheets. Oh, website, by the way, ironsidesheets.com. You can find those both linked in the description. Thanks for listening and have a great day.